Hey everyone, welcome to the TrueNAS YouTube channel. Today I'm going to walk you through how to install TrueNAS Core. Here's the basics of what you'll need to run TrueNAS. First, you'll need a 64-bit system that will only be used for TrueNAS Core. TrueNAS is not dual boot friendly, so make sure that you're only using the system for TrueNAS. TrueNAS requires a minimum of 8GB of RAM and more if you're installing virtual machines or plugins. Next, you'll need a solid state drive or a hard disk drive with at least 8GB of storage capacity to serve as the boot device for TrueNAS. An SSD is an ideal choice for longevity, and keep in mind that the entire disk will be used for the TrueNAS operating system. You'll want at least one hard drive for storage of files, but multiple drives of the same capacity can be easily bundled together to provide redundancy if a drive fails. Western digital drives are a great choice for data storage, but as with any vendor, make sure to avoid drives using SMR technology in ZFS applications. You'll need an Ethernet cord to connect your system to the network. There is no wireless support in TrueNAS. A blank DVD or USB stick is required to create the TrueNAS installation media. Note that the installation media is not the same as the boot device. You'll want to grab the latest TrueNAS image from our website at truenas.com download. Make sure you have a monitor for the first part of the setup. After the setup is complete and you've written down your TrueNAS system's IP address, the monitor can be disconnected. And lastly, grab a separate computer or laptop with an internet browser to access the GUI and administer your TrueNAS system. After you've downloaded the TrueNAS installation media, you'll need to burn the image to a blank DVD or write it to a blank USB drive. If you need assistance with this step, refer to the instructions linked in the description of this video. Now that we've gone through the basics of what you need to get started, let's go ahead and begin the installation. To begin the installation, make sure that both the boot device and the TrueNAS installation media are inserted in the machine that you chose to run TrueNAS. Next, boot into the BIOS of the system and double check that your system is set to boot from the device that contains the TrueNAS installation media that you created earlier. After you confirm, reboot the system. The TrueNAS install menu will be displayed. Choose option 1 on the menu to begin the TrueNAS installation. This will load the console setup menu. Hit enter to choose the install slash upgrade option. The next menu asks which drive should be used for TrueNAS. Make sure to select the boot device and not the storage disk. This menu will show the size of the disks to make it easier to determine the boot device which is generally a smaller size than the storage disks. The one you want will likely be the smallest on the list. Note that the names of your drives will be different. Press the arrow keys to go ahead and select a drive, and then press the space bar to designate it as the drive you wish to use. Hit OK, then Yes to proceed. Remember, the boot device cannot be used for anything other than the operating system itself. Next, type in and confirm the password that will be used to log into TrueNAS. TrueNAS can be booted in either BIOS or UEFI mode. For the purposes of this video, I'll be choosing BIOS. BIOS works for almost all motherboards and is typically the option to choose for older hardware. Choosing UEFI will require that your motherboard is more modern and UEFI capable. Once chosen, your installation will begin. Go ahead and wait for a bit. All those commands popping up on the screen are perfectly normal. It should take a few minutes. Once that's done, choose OK to reboot. Remove the installation media from your system. As the system reboots, double check the BIOS to make sure that the boot order now defaults to the boot device. When the system boots from the boot device, messages will appear as the TrueNAS operating system loads. When it's done loading, you'll see the console setup menu. At the bottom of this screen, an IP address will be listed. From a separate computer that's connected to the same network, open a web browser and type in that address that you see. If it instead shows 0.0.0.0, check if the network cable is plugged in and that the network has a DHCP server. The TrueNAS login menu should appear. Type in root for the username and the password you created during the installation. Once you're logged in, you'll have access to the TrueNAS web interface which is used to manage your storage disks, configure access to the stored data, and view the status of your system. Congratulations, you've just installed TrueNAS. Make sure to check out our other videos to learn more about configuring and using TrueNAS. For comprehensive information on configuring TrueNAS, visit docs.truenas.com. Whether you need software-defined storage, enterprise-grade support with high availability, or scale-out multi-node management, TrueNAS has a complete storage solution that fits virtually any application and budget. Visit TrueNAS.com to see why millions of individuals and businesses depend on TrueNAS to keep their data safe and secure.